ever heard yourself say anything like this? But what about reverse sexism? Black people are always like white people this, white people that. They're so racist. With all this gay stuff being shoved down our throats, we need straight pride. But reverse sexism. Not all men, okay? Stop being sexist. How come I'm not allowed to say n that's racist towards white people? But reverse sexism. Then this video is for you. This video is part of a series for the Sydney Feminists, a group of passionate women and men working towards social change through media education. Understanding the difference between prejudice and oppression is critical if we aim to be better for ourselves and for the many diverse people we come into contact with. To understand oppression on a critical level, we have to understand that it has its basis in domination and dominative power structures. I know what you're thinking, you naughty people. Although dominative play can be fun between two consenting adults, when translated into the real world, it becomes a lot less so. Fact of the matter is, in society, unlike in the bedroom, people can't choose to be dominated over. Power is forcibly taken and held by certain groups of people with the ability to do so. Slavery and colonization are easy to point out examples of a group of people using the power they have to dominate over another group of people. It doesn't end there though. Once domination is established, domination will need to be maintained. Simply put, people in power will want to stay in power, and in order to stay in power, they will need to use a number of different methods to do so. The method I will be showing you today requires a few ingredients. These are the ingredients of oppression. We'll start off by heating up some biased institutional practices. While we're at it, we'll add some biased legislation to that. You'll want to use a few cubes of biased media. You can never have enough biased media. And we'll grind some biased education into there. And we'll top it off with just a sprinkle of human bias to give it some flavor. And there we have it. A beautiful oppression gumbo. If you understand that oppression and oppressive practices like racism, sexism, capitalism and homo and transphobia are built off of systemic and systematic dominative power structures, you will understand that things like reverse racism and reverse sexism simply don't exist. So no reverse sexism? Although individuals of an oppressed group can exhibit displays of racial or sexual prejudice, there are simply no dominative power structures within society that will give them the power to oppress an individual in the dominant group. But reverse sexism. No. But reverse. No. But no. Look, if you're still not sure if you're being oppressed, here are five simple questions you can ask yourself to find out. Are there laws in place that affect you purely because of your identity? Looking at past and current cases, are people with an identity like yours impacted negatively in police and judicial systems? Does your identity affect your chances of job acceptance, housing acceptance or loan acceptance? Does your identity affect your safety in society? Does your identity impact the way people relate to you? If you didn't answer yes confidently to all of these questions with good research and good evidence to back it up, then you're simply not being oppressed. Prejudice sucks, but it's completely different to oppression.